Hello and welcome to this tutorial video on the use of comments in the processing programming language. So first off, what is a comment? A comment is something we type into our code that is intended to be read by people rather than the computer. So in processing, the most common way to do that is to start uh, with a double slash or a double forward slash and then everything after that is a comment. And you can see that the colour coding where the, we've got um, different colours for different types or different parts of the programming language uh, comments are greyed out, so they're a, a dark grey. And what that means is that the computer is not attempting to interpret anything on this line as computer code is just ignoring it and leaving it there for us to read. So that's what a comment is, and most programming languages have them. The question now is what do we use them for and how do we put them in? So like I said before, the double slash is how we start a comment and then the next line is just interpreted as not a comment, so you can see that that's not greyed out and it's attempting to interpret it unsuccessfully. And we use this type of comment to mark different parts of the program structure, so to help us navigate. We can see here we've got what is still, by programming standards, a very short program, but without reading through it quite carefully, it might be a bit hard to see what we're trying to do with that program. So what we can do is use comments to help understand and help us when we're reading this later on and we've forgotten why we did different things and also to help other people as they read our code to help navigate the code so we can say this declare initial variables see if I can spell and we might say down here we might say that we're draw a rectangle and we can be as specific as we need to be depending on the type of program we've got, so I might talk about that being a blue rectangle or whatever. And this one is, for example, draw a circle. Okay, so now we can see that the program, the code we've written is easier to navigate. We can see what our different sections of code are doing. And when we're reading through this later on, it's a little easier to find our way around and find the bit that we're trying to modify or debug or whatever we're trying to do with it. Now, as well as identifying sections of code by having a whole line comment, we can also just put a comment at the end of individual lines. And a common place to do that is when we're declaring variables. So we should be using nice descriptive variable names just to help us navigate through our code, but it can also be useful during the initial variable declaration to have a slightly expanded explanation of what this variable is and what it does. For example, here we might say that this is the rectangle and circle size. So even though it's called size which gives us a clue, a more complete explanation here is, is quite useful to have. And we can see that we've used that size value here. Um, actually that's no, just a circle size isn't it? I should be able to read my own code. Okay so we've got circle size in pixels and this one might be the rectangle width for example. And so on. So we can basically put a comment at the end of any line of code. We can't put this before any code we want the computer to interpret because it will ignore everything after these two slashes and there's no way we can get it to start paying attention again. So we can navigate our code. We can also put in these little comments after a line of code to explain the logic of what we've done. So sometimes we might do something in programming that might look a little bit odd to someone who's having a look through and doesn't understand the design behind the program. So to protect ourselves from making those changes later on, we can just put a quick explanation comment in there. The other pl reason we might want to put comments into code is if we want to temporarily disable um, a section of code. So if we want to decide that we want to you know, we're trying to find a bug or we're trying to try out a few new ideas, we decide we don't want to draw that rectangle right now, but I don't want to delete the code because I want to turn that back on again later on. What I can do is highlight that section of code that I want to um, comment out and hit control slash or command slash depending on whether you're on Apple or Windows and as you can see there the entire highlighted section it's added the double slash before each line and now all of that is now turned into that grey um, comment uh, text which means that the, pro the processing language is no longer um, looking for that to be its, um, its programming code so it'll just get ignored so when we run our code, we can see that it's no longer drawing the rectangle, it's just drawing the circle. If we then do the same thing in reverse, so we select the code again, again hit command slash, so the command slash just toggles the commenting on and off. We turn that code back on and there we go, our rectangle is in fact back. 
Now if we want to write a longer comment that it goes across multiple lines, one way of course is just to start every line with the double slash, but if you wanted to have a big paragraph of text as a comment, which you, know, you might want to do at the start of a program just to explain what you're doing, what the design of the program is all about, you've got a lot of stuff you want to write, one way to do that is to have a multi-line comment and that's where you start your comment with a slash star and you finish with a star slash um, or asterisk slash and then everything you write in here is treated as a comment even though it doesn't have any indication at the start of the line that it's a comment so you can just write comment blocks of comment in between these two indicators here so there we go, we have the basics of commenting inside processing. I encourage you to use it because it will help you out a lot even though it seems like it's a waste of time because it's, it's typing that isn't actually making your program do anything but it will really help you when you're debugging your code and attempting to navigate it and it will really help somebody else if they start to look at your code and are trying to untangle what you're doing and maybe use or modify your code later on. So go forth and do much commenting.